country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. Oh, back at Crater, let's see. Time to find Johnny. You know what? He's going to be in the hub. I'd be willing to bet on that. Morning, sunshine. Mac? Oh, hi. What you doing? One and only. Ah, I just stopped by to see what was going on. You know, we've been uh, sitting around for a few days and... Uh, you know, I'm starting to feel like I'm sprouting roots, you know? Oh, yeah. I know. I was... I know. I was just kind of waiting for John, seeing if he would actually make it down here or not. He just... Because back when I first told him that we were coming home, he said he wouldn't be able to make it down here in time to meet us when we arrived. But that was, you know, then. I mean, he might have had time to come down by now. So I... And I'm totally willing to wait for him as long as it takes, so... Honor means nothing. Survival means everything. All right. Good to know. Hey, uh, Johnny? Johnny, is that you? Hey there, Vault Dweller. I've heard all about the plans for that Vault 79 raid of yours, so I'll spare you the time and tell you I'm in. All that sweet, sweet gold is as good as ours. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, Johnny, what's, uh, what's the catch? Hey, catch? It's not a catch so much as it is a business deal. Before I sign on for your vault raid, I need you to do something mm -hmm. for me. You've got the kind of skills I need to help pull off a very important job. Okay. Um... Right, so, uh, there is a get catch. Okay, fine. It's a catch. Is that what you needed to hear? Does it matter? Just move on. All right. So here's what's what. I used to run jobs with my partner, Hal. Hal's a dear old friend. Known him since before the war. Hal and I went our separate ways when I joined up with Meg's crew. Now he's being held as a slave by a group of unsavory hooligans out by Watoga. And being forced to do who knows what. I got a plan to free him. Okay. Um, let's hear it. All right. I knew you'd be on board. So, these guys run an arena in what used to be the Watoga Civic Center. People fight for riches, food, supplies, whatever they're willing to bet. Half the competitors are slaves, and their masters are betting on them. Others are just people trying to make their uh -huh. fortune. So, they're making Hal and fight the to the death? What can we do about that? Strong at top of the world. Now, Hal isn't much of a fighter, so he's being held there by one of these guys for some other purpose. Oh. I want to pass you off as my slave. I'll make a deal to sell you to Hal's master after you win the competition that will rig in your favor. Uh -huh. Once you get into the slave quarters, you and Hal will break out and rendezvous with me. Any questions? Are you crazy? Of course I have questions. As you should. What the hell? Fair enough. I know it sounds insane, but trust me, I've pulled off much more complicated and dangerous <laughs> cons. This is nothing. If you stick with me and do what I tell you, it'll go smooth as pre-war uh -huh. butter. I'll be doing all the heavy lifting. Right. Right. <laughs> Here, why don't I just give him a call real quick and ask him again uh, if he's going to okay. actually make it or not. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Answer John, please. Um, 
All right, just for sake of argument, what happens if I don't win? You will. I'm going to rig the competition in your favor, so there's no way you'll lose. Now, on the off chance you somehow oh. fail, <sighs> I won't be happy, Watch out now that but I we'll have to that. improvise. <sighs> Think of this as a trial right, run for the vault job. It'll let me know it. how much I can Everything trust you. Invincible, you idiot. They can still kill you, you know. Sorry about that. Um, the hell? I wish I could shut this thing off. Um, um, so, all right, um, how am I supposed to escape? That is a bit of an unknown, so it's mostly going to be on you to figure out. <laughs> okay. See, luckily, after the competition, the place tends to clear out pretty fast, so you'll only have, like, a few guards to deal with. They're nothing special, so whichever direction you choose to go, I think you'll be able to handle it. Of course, I'll help where I can. <sighs> He's not answering, darn it all. Why does he do this to me? <sighs> well, <laughs> he's not answering, Mac. <laughs> huh. So, I don't know. Turn it all. Why can't he just answer? You know, I. This is starting to get really frustrating. Um. Uh, look, Karen, mm. I get it. He's your last surviving kid. I get it. We're in a big, bad world. But. You gotta kind of look at it from his point of view, you know? He's like, he's like the kid. He's finally getting to go spend the summer at Pioneer Camp. And, uh, you know, he's, he's gonna be with his friends and his peers, out doing adventures on his own and making his own decisions. Suddenly his mom is calling him every night. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not trying to be critical of you here, but you know some, maybe you gotta loosen up just a little bit. I mean, I, I get it. You're worried, but uh, he's he's got to learn how to become a man to do things his own way. You know? I know. I I mean, I get that. I I just wish that he wanted to see his family and friends as much as we wanted to see him. I guess I I just feel I just feel down, Mac. I. I feel sad that Lucy's gone and now John's gone and he doesn't want to come home and I'm just, it just makes me sad, you know? So. Uh, you've been in your shoes, I get it. Anyway. All right, well, if he's not going to answer and he's not going to come down, then I guess I can just leave. Mm. Get it over with, you know? Then we can yeah. relax. So, yeah, sure. We can go tomorrow if, if you want to come. I mean, you don't have to. All it's right. up to you. I got, I got nothing else better to do. I'll take a long, see how this plays out. All right. How is the well, construction going at your place? Yeah, it's moving along. They'll probably keep moving faster if I'm not there to get in their way. <laughs> All right. Maybe they'll be done by the time I get back. <laughs> okay. Well... Um, all right. Well, if you guys want to meet me here tomorrow morning, we can head out. All right. I'll go let Jack. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Yep. Have a good night. Me too. Well, I mean, I'll try. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like this plan at all. Um, Still can't believe what, you're all what kind of competition? It seems to change from time to time. But I got word that the next competition is your standard arena battle. You versus whatever feral ghouls and other creatures they've dug up. The first prize goes to whichever combatant clears them out fastest. Alright, Johnny. Um, I guess if I don't have a choice, um, I guess I'm ready. Alright. So, here's how it'll go down. Meet me at the Watoga Civic Center, and I'll do some legwork before you get there. You'll want to slip in the back entrance. I'll be waiting. In character. We'll get you into the competition, and I'll go over the final details with you once I know more. See you there, partner. All right. I guess I'll figure out how to get down there. Oh, my God.
I know Karen's going to expect me to call her back, but I am not doing it. Why is she calling me in the middle of the day anyway? <sighs> I'm so sick and tired of being nagged at, chased around. Whatever it is, it can wait. I'll call her tonight. There's just no way. Hmm. Well, I could sure do, with, do without this fog. Yeah. Ah, it's beautiful scenic Appalachia. <laughs> well, at least it's not raining. Can Can you tell it's scenic? <laughs> I, mean, I can barely see ten feet in front of me right now. Um. We could probably cross the stream at some point, so we can get... I guess we could use this bridge. Mm -hmm. So we can, um... Head up that way. That looks like we got some ghouls here, ghouls. though. Mm. Uh, Alright. thought I heard something over there. Hey, buddies. Hmm. across the bridge. Yup. Got him. Most excellent. Alright, stim packs, right away, ammo. Uh, you know, I probably ought to take some adhesive. Um... Oh, is somebody at the door? Kay. Hey, Johnny. How's hey, it going, buddy? On, man. It's going well. What's up? Oh, I came by to drop off uh, your armor that I got you. Oh, you're kidding me. That's awesome. Here you go, buddy. I'm sure you're going right. to like it. All right. Well... You know, anything's better than nothing. So, uh, what do I owe you? Nothing. You are all right. You're making me nervous, but all right. Let me let me try Why? this on. Why am I making you nervous? And nothing's for nothing, man. Look, let me put it plain and simple, John. In my line of business, and you know what that business is. Yeah. It's extremely hard to find somebody that you can trust. That's not going to put a knife in your back. All right. All right. And All I'm right. pretty sure I can do that with you. Yeah, so, I'm no good with knives. <laughs> everything we've gone through in the in the last, what, day, two? A while, yeah. You've, you've, you've earned my respect. All right. Well, let me try this on. Get out of here. You know, it's cold outside. <laughs> It'll be fine. Do, 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 do. All right, Cade. Come on in. Check it out. Wow. You, you look like you look grown up now. <laughs> Whatever, man. It, it, it's heavy. This is heavy. That's body armor. <laughs> I like my armor to carry itself. Just saying. We'll get some muscles now. <sighs> Whatever. Muscles are so overrated. You won't say that now that you're <laughs> out of armor. All right. <sighs> when, you, we're, when you're running through the wilderness at top speed and, you know, maybe, hell, maybe a razor claw is chasing you. You won't have to worry about it because you can run because you have muscles in your leg. Not, not spaghetti legs. Yeah, whatever. That's very aspirational of you. But thank you. I appreciate it. It's, uh, uh, it's going to help out a lot. I was feeling, uh, I was feeling pretty vulnerable. Uh, I, and listen, for what it's worth, I'm going to go find power armor. It's just going to take me a while to redo it. 
you'd be better off without it. All right. All right. I'm so what telling do you, you man, it's, it's got a big weakness behind it. I know you say that. So what do well, you Well, I came to drop the armor off, and there's also, I heard a rumor that yeah. you're going to, to Watatoga. <laughs> you raiders, man, you're like an old woman's quilting group. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, Jelly going... Boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Watoga. What's the big deal? Well, Watoga is an extremely dangerous place, man. <laughs> Personal really? experience. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, if you right. go in there, you're you're gonna need someone again to watch your back. Oh, are you volunteering? Seems to be a life job, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I enjoy your company, so let's do it. You ready to yeah, go, not, or do you need to go to some stuff? You're not too bad either, kid. No, I'm set to go. I'm always carrying. <laughs> I should have known. All right. Yeah, let's go. All right. Well... Lucy stopped by and said goodbye to you, right, Mac, last night? Yeah, she did. Good. So. Well. Yeah. Kind of kind of shame that, uh, you know, she and Blue are gone. I now know. Now I gotta find a new drinking buddy and <laughs> lose our doctor. Yeah. I mean, we haven't been home a lot recently to actually enjoy their company, but... Isn't just nice knowing that they were there, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss her because now I'm the only girl again. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, well. In this area. Well, yeah. Yeah, she... but coming down at Foundation. Huh? Now you get all the men to yourself again. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> just don't tell Lucy. Oh, my... That's I don't what know. Cracks me up. I, I liked having a girlfriend to talk to. I get it. Because I just, yeah, sometimes don't want to talk to a guy about stuff. <laughs> so there. <laughs> yep. So, I'm gonna miss her. But I'm glad that they found Blue's family and that. You know, they're going to be close to family. That's that's more important anyways. Yeah, definitely. Ah, huh, blackberries. can always use some of those. I just hope that John realizes that. John understands that. Still, he comes back soon. I'm... Uh, yeah, anyway. Do you hear that? Is that a banjo? There's a banjo. Somebody playing a banjo up there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think we should investigate, though. I see some cages hanging out over the cliff. Yeah. Yep. That, that doesn't strike me as a uh, pleasant area to visit. Look at We just got above the fog. Look at down there. Oh, wow. It's all socked in. That's That looks really cool. <laughs> kind of pretty. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture of that. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. Oh, we're being... We're being spotted by blood eagles. Oh, I see him up there. Wow, well, that's another reason to not go that way if we stay over here. <laughs> well, he... Hopefully he, oh. won't attack us. Hold on, there's a guy right ahead of us on the trail. Uh, um, hello? He looks more like a scavenger guy. Hey, man. Uh, we don't mean you any harm. We're just uh, passing by. Is he wearing a straight jacket? Yes, I believe that is. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Let's hope it wasn't actually given to him and he just found it somewhere. Yeah. 
because it <laughs> keeps him warm, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's... I don't know. A whole camp down there. Hmm. Keeps him on the straight and narrow. <laughs> nice. Always one with the puns, huh? Ooh, what? Nah. Yeah. Oh, uh, something is close. What's going on? What's up? Some angry woman up there. Oh. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. I, I don't think they like us. Um, I. What is the matter with people? I don't There's know. There's another one. I, I hear. Yeah, somebody's trying to shoot at us. But where is this other person at? Oh, there's a turret up here. They have a turret. Where? Right there. We can skip around it, I think, if we come up uh, here. I can't jump up that. Where's the other raider? There he is. Ow! Ow! Jerk! Ow! Ow! You guys okay? Fire. Ow! God! Get... Ah. Whoa! <sighs> Mac, you alright? Ow, that hurt. Back? Uh, not healthy, but I'll get over Karen, it. you okay? Yeah, it just scorched me a little bit. I'm fine. All right. It's almost my, my clothes caught on fire for a second. Are you... Where are you, Jack? I'm above you. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I found a path that got me up on the cliff above them, so... Okay, I was trying to get up I there. Was I was saved from it. most of that. I just... <laughs> I couldn't get up there. I was trying. Okay. Yeah. You okay, there was, Mac? There was a ground path. You had to go back a little bit. You yeah, okay, how Mac? you doing, Mac? Oh, I'll be fine. I got all this, you know, the big old leather coat. Yeah. And then somebody forgot their armor today. Oh. Hmm. Oops. Yeah. I did, didn't I? Sorry, I took it off when we were at home because I wasn't. I was just sitting around, you know. And I forgot. Makes to, sense. Yeah, I forgot to bring it. It's not exactly luxury loungewear, you know. <laughs> oh, hang on. Whoa! Oh, who's shooting at me? There's a guy behind Son that tree over there. I see him. Ow! Okay, I'm getting tired of you jerks. Ow! You okay, Jack? Watch out. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Joy. Antisocial rage, I'm gonna call this place. I'll take the shotgun shells Sounds from you. That's about right. Well. That's you crazy. Jerk. Where was the other dude at? Were there two of them? Yeah, there were two of them. Well, I didn't see anybody. What is this? Oh, yuck. What in the world? What? There's a big trough of blood up here. Oh, God. Ugh. These guys. Let's get out of here. These guys are creepy. Yeah. Yeah. They are, for sure. I hate these Mothman nuts. Is that what these people are? Oh, yeah, they got their antlers. Hmm. Okay. There's a huge blackberry patch over here, though. Mm. I want to get some. <laughs> Assuming it's not watered with blood. Oh. Yeah, that would not be healthy. All right. John. Yeah. What? Uh, you're awfully quiet, man. What's up? 
Oh, I just got a bunch of stuff on my mind. Um, well, I don't know. Do I don't know that you want to. What? Do tell. Oh, I don't know that you would care about any of it. Um, Friends care, John. Friends care. Yeah, I just found out that I'm going to uh, lose a couple friends. They're moving out of the area. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah. There's some rats over there. Yep, yep, yep. So... I don't know. Ooh, firecracker berries. This. John, John, John. What? Look up. Oh, wow. I don't recall seeing this before. Alright. Well. This definitely looks like a raid or something. Look for a symbol. Man. Yeah, I don't remember. I do not remember all this. Looks like a raider setup. It does. Has that raider smell too. I took a bath already, you know. <laughs> I'm talking about all the rotting bodies on the outskirts of their settlements. Oh. How did it get to this? Oh. Did you hear that? Yeah. Are they on the other side of the train? Oh. Hmm. Whoa. There's... Contact. Okay. Can we just tell. get around him? Can't tell yeah, so what gang bored. this is. Where'd I put those chems? Chems. Well, that doesn't tell us much. It, well, this sounds like Blood God, Eagle. I, still hear the screams. Oh, I think I was spotted. Well, she's looking. All right. Well, come on. We can we can use this train. Relax. It's nothing. We can use uh, this train to block him. I gotta find out if these are blood eagles. If they're blood Oop. eagles, I care. All right. I got a personal vendetta against these guys. I don't know that we need to take on a whole settlement, Cade. No, this is child play, John. I still don't see any symbols. Oh, oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. By the Jolly Roger there. Nope. Nope. I thought I saw one. There's red. There's a lot of red. It's yeah, but that doesn't very... mean anything. Blood Eagles use a lot of red. Let's see. Well... I still don't see any signs. Guard in the tower, right directly where I'm looking. Okay. His back, his back is to us. Yeah, uh, actually, that's a she, and she is wearing a blood eagle jacket. They're dead. Well, I got a shot. Oh, you got a shot too. All right. Kill them all. I don't see any more right from here. Oop. Well, that'll get somebody's attention. Smaller guns. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, I would actually like to have my bigger guns back, to be perfectly honest. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's one up on the top looking for us. Yeah, I know. This is a big base. Wow. I know. 
Meg's gonna want to know about this. There we go. Oh, he's got a laser gun. I'll have to go get that. Is that you that just fired? Yeah, I took the guy out on top. Oh. Who are you? On the rock wall behind you. Oh. You haven't moved? Come on, John. Haven't needed to. There's a body down there. That might have been the guy that I shot off the top, though. What is this place? It's huge. This is an arena. Yeah. I'm not liking the looks of this. Don't fall. Those look like robot generators. They are. It's that yellow stuff. That's uh, probably radioactive waste. See the barrels down there? Oh, okay, yeah. And Suppose then there's fuel. Yeah, there's fuel tanks around, too. That would not be a fun place to fight. There's a lot of hazards. <laughs> I think that's the point, John. <laughs> I don't see anybody else, do you? No, but as far as I know, there's at least one person left. I think you think there's somebody else still left? That one by the train that I know I didn't kill, did, unless you killed no. him. No, uh-uh. At that point, I was still trying to sneak around. But the train's way the... over on the other side of the hillside from here. She's probably nowhere around here. I uh, must do a clear sweep first, though. All right, you want to go around then? Oh, I hear oh. somebody. I there she is. Where are you, pretty? Come here. Look what I found! First Ow! <sighs> All right, she's down. Ugh. Hey, where yeah. are you? I'm over here on the other side. I was just about to take a shot when you took her down. Okay. Yeah, come on, Cade. Let's, uh, I don't know that we need to, uh, explore this whole thing. We need Still to get going. Alive. I just heard someone. But it, you're right, it is getting dark. Let's see if we can head towards the entryway. Your little piggy. Oh, look. Hey. Lost him. How you doing? Not too good, hey? Now I think we're in the clear. Alright. Uh oh. Check it out, John. Your throne. Oh. I get to be king for a day? Yeah, you want to? Go ahead. Oh, dude, check this out. I wonder what this your, blows up. Your cousin will never allow this. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, it didn't do anything. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Behold, I am king of all I see. <laughs> oh, my king. I'm here to serve. <laughs> Rise, sir, kills a lot. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with you, man. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, all right. 
Oh, All man. Right, what? We're going to have to find another place to camp. It's, this is taking forever to get down here. Relax, John. So it's okay to have fun. You know, look, hunting raiders look, is look not... Look out! What? What, what was it? Another raider. Oh, and another you. one. Uh, oh, I see her. There we go. Thank you. I could not get an angle. Oh, there's another one. Here she comes. There we go. Gee, did you get her or did you miss? <laughs> I got her. The whole area bathed in energy. Hey, works for me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yep, that was fun. I've got to come back here again, John. You know, killing people is not my idea of fun. It's blood eagles. They're still people, dude. You know they're hocked up on drugs, right? You can't reason with them. You can't reason with Karen, but that doesn't mean I want to kill her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't mean that, by the way. <laughs> well, we mm -hmm. did make it. We, we made, made it. it before it was pitch dark. Foundation. Good old spruce snub. Spruce Nah, that's what it used to be called. Where these squatters came along. Oh, hey. From my memory, a human copying machine. All found at prices that you've never seen. This hmm. woman's rhyming everything she says. <laughs> this is Blue Ridge mm. Caravan. These are the people that uh, Lucy was going to meet and trouble yeah. with. Um. Hey. Won't be around forever, so make sure you snag any deals that pique your interest. Friends and patrons, today is the day Minerva's store has returned, so don't delay. With plans for weapons to keep baddies at bay, shop while you can, for this caravan won't stay. Oh. <laughs> Clever. Okay, what kinds of things do you sell here? You'd think with all the carnival barking I do, I wouldn't get this question much. Well. But alas, here I go, answering it again. My caravan sells recreations of all sorts of rare plans and recipes. Oh. At discounted prices, no less. I've got what you'd call a photographic memory. If I've seen it, I can picture it and draw it exactly so. The human copy that machine, they say. But I suspect that name will lose its veneer once anyone that remembers copying machines has died off. <sighs> if you're interested in plans at unbeatable prices, I'm the best that the Blue Ridge Caravan Company has. Cool. How long are you here for? Not long. So if you've got your eye on something, act fast. My stock is constantly rotating with new and exciting observations from my travels. Okay. But that also means you're unlikely to see the same thing on back-to-back -back visits, so grab what you can while I'm here. Cool. Okay. Cool. Um, can I see what you have for sale? What does she have for sale? Huh. Wow. She sells some Brotherhood of Steel stuff. Does she now? Well, wow. John would like some of this stuff. Hmm. I don't want to know what a Wendigo tube is. Okay. Thank you. Um, I might buy something later, but it's getting late, so we're... Picture -perfect copies of plans yeah. All right, interesting. I, did, I don't remember seeing her there before. She must be just, tra she travels through. It looks like it. Okay. Well, it's getting late. We better check in with Paige. And I guess we're going to be spending the night here. Okay. 
Yeah. Sounds good to me. Everybody's uh, jamming tonight, huh? Apparently. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. What? Hmm? Something wrong, Mac? Just bemoaning the fate of all those poor protectrons again. Too busy. What? <laughs> you don't think they just. They, you think they're too good for selling food? I think they're too stupid. They're too Here, stupid. Listen, yeah, listen to that thing. It's like sandwiches, subs. Ah, they're all ravioli. What? Okay. <laughs> let's let's get down here. Come on, let's go. Ah, uh, there's Paige right there. Hey, Paige. Hi. You've secured our way down to the vault pretty handily, haven't you? <laughs> well... I just can't believe your luck in finding Dr. Hornwright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is she already here? She's getting some equipment brought down, I think. Better run, unless you want to find yourself carrying consoles around. Oh. Oh. <laughs> But before you get going, though, let's talk business. Okay. All right. I've been working on the next problem we need to solve for busting into Vault 79, that doozy of a laser grid. I figure we got some experienced scavengers in Foundation already, hmm. folks who know a thing or two about busting bunkers, small ones anyway. Thing is, before I even start asking around, our youngest scavenger pops up to tell me she's got it handled. Oh. Handled, before I even told her the problem. Okay. Okay, so what are you talking about, actually? Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> I've been focusing on the problem too long. Tunnel vision. Let's see. Uh, basically, the problem is that there's really serious laser grids. Oh. The kind you can't just cut the power to disable. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. If they lose power for even a fraction of a second, they'll lock the whole thing down for hours. Oh. Days, maybe. Doesn't sound fun. Nuts. Nuts, I thought we were done. <laughs> so, so you think that she can do this? Honestly, maybe she's tougher than she seems. She's been with us for a while, so I can vouch for her loyalty at least. She said she has a way to beat the grid, so I'm inclined to believe her. Okay. Anyway, her name is Jen. Go talk to her. And I'll get back to work on figuring out a plan for these military-grade turrets. Okay. <clears throat> Ten. Um, there's always more work to do here at Foundation. Yeah. Okay, there's always more work to do on this vault. I know. All right, Jen. Well, let's... Uh... She's over this way. She's a smart kid. I believe it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. She's the one I'm always talking to while I'm here. We've been working together for weeks now. Oh, well then show me to her, because I don't even know what she looks like. Yeah. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? Oh, hey. Hi there. I take it you talk to Paige. Yes. You know why I'm here. Uh, yeah, he said that you found out about the job and wanted to help us. I did and I do, yep. But there's something we need to take care of first. It'll be worth it. Okay. <laughs> like what? So, okay. Hilariously, I'm looking for something that is designed to be invisible. Untraceable. It's a suit that hides you from everything, even laser detection grids. Wow. Which would help out with Vault 79, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure makes would. you invisible. <laughs> okay. Um, so how do we find something that's designed not to be found then? Nothing is completely untraceable. Think of it like a swimmer that's underwater. It might take a while, but they have to pop up for air, right? So there's always brief moments of exposure, even if it's only exposed to certain eyes. You get what I'm saying? No. Well, I'm... Not really. <laughs> okay, so the tech makes you go invisible. 
but yeah. it can't do it all the time. It uses a lot of power and it has to turn off sometimes. Oh. When the power runs out, things that know to look for it are going to be able to track it. Okay. Specifically, things that are from the same manufacturer. Those things might relay the sighting, just because most everything keeps a log of what it sees. A memory, right? Well, right. Are you just agreeing out of anxiety? <laughs> okay. Uh. I'll try to boil this down while sounding 5% less confusing. Let's see. We need to go take out a Liberator bot to see if it has a record of another piece of Chinese tech coming through here. Okay. Hmm. Why a Liberator in particular? Liberators like to gossip, speaking in lay terms. Okay. They ping each other whenever they see something interesting. It's actually kind of a design flaw. Okay. Interesting. And you think that a Liberator will have seen or heard this suit? Okay. I guess we'll bring you a Liberator then. All right. I'll see if we have anyone around here who can help out with the next part. Um. Uh, okay. <sighs> well, um. Maybe you should talk to Dr. Penelope Hornwright. See if she needs any help. You seem pretty capable with technological things. I feel like I recognize that name. Yeah. Is she good with robots? I can do electrical stuff, but hacking and whatnot is beyond me. Yes, she's good with robots. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for the heads up. I was just going to read Paige's diary to find out who to talk to. <laughs> Paige's diary? That's uh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you later. Well, we'll set out tomorrow to get a liberator. Be safe out there. All right. Huh. You should consider this place a fresh start. They took me in years ago and became my family. It could be the same for you. Yeah. I I have a family, but thanks. Okay. Sure, you guys. Sorry, no time to chat. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe she was talking to me. Oh, t really? Wow. Come on, Mac. Let's go. Oh. Get on the elevator. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Really go for a hoax. A liberator. Um. So besides the area around Vault 76, where do we usually see Liberators? Uh, place I can think of that I see saw them fairly often was Morgantown. Well, that's not Which, any closer. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just saying that's the only place I can think of that I saw them. Let's get a room. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um. Didn't we? Oh. What? That guy's heading to something. His, or not. What the heck are you doing? He was probably late for his guard shift. <laughs> um. Uh, I was going to say, didn't we see them up up at uh, Charleston somewhere once? Um, um, um. Darn it. Well, I mean, I guess I I've seen them uh, around the Charleston train yard before. That was a yeah, long yeah, time so ago. They were, they were picking on the Grafton monster. Well, I guess we could check there. I mean, that would be way closer than the vault or Morgantown. Yeah, that's true. All right. We'll do that in the morning. We'll head up to... Yeah, we'll head up there. I mean, worst case, we can head straight towards the vault or Morgantown from Charleston. Just up the railroad tracks. <laughs> if we have to. Well, If we have to, but... <laughs> Why don't you guys... It's at least a fairly um, easy path. Yeah, why don't you guys... T I'll take the first watch, because I want to wait up to see if John calls. And, uh... Alright. Alright. Yeah, why don't you... Why don't you hit the sack, Jack, and I'm gonna I'll, just I'll wander around bottom. and talk to people. You don't want to get rest while you have a right. chance? I guess you'll take the last watch, then? Yeah, I'll take the morning watch. But, uh, I, I gotta talk to a few people here. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Good night.
Hi, Jack. I am going to sit here. <clears throat> and hopefully John will call soon. Ah, it's nice to be uh, off the road. Yeah, that was uh, that was kind of fun earlier. Fun? <laughs> Killing those blood eagles. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to. Let me get my head around that. Why? Haven't you killed? It doesn't mean I like it. It's part of the world today, John. Yeah, unfortunately. You think that someday society's gonna come back? Well, yeah, if we work hard enough. Sorry, buddy. As long as the scorch roam the earth, ghouls, and all the other monsters, no. Yeah, but we don't need to be each other's monsters. Those were humans. Well, that's where you got to look at way back in the, you know, what what makes society society? Uh, rule of law. Right. And? Uh, guns. Society is run on some basic factors, like power, like electricity power. Communication, like telephones and all that that they had before, when the, before the bombs fell. All that stuff is gone. You take that from the, away from mankind... And what you got is primal instance in the human coming out. And I don't know if you knew this, John, but mankind is a very ugly beast. Yeah, well, I'm learning it. And that beast does not want to change. <sighs> Come on, John. I started to get tired, and it's almost time to wake Jack up for his watch. I'm just going to call him. This is ridiculous. Why doesn't he call me? <sighs> Come on, John. Answer me. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I think... Is this... <sighs> All right. You know what? I'm not answering that. And the strings of the apron get cut. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of that. Problems with the cousin? Yeah, um... Yeah, I'm tired of being mommied. Well, no offense, man, but I told you, you're kind of soft. If you're going to live in this world, you can't be soft. Yeah, I guess you're right. Why is he answering? This is ridiculous. Is he starting to deliberately avoid me? <sighs> well, Jack. <clears throat> hey, Jack. Huh? Jack, it's your turn to watch. Oh. Oh, already. Mm. John never Mark. called. John never called, and he didn't answer me when I called him, and now I'm getting worried. <sighs> it's John. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I'm starting to think he's deliberately avoiding me now. Well, maybe he is. He can be so testy. Ugh. Anyway. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to sit out here and try not to fall asleep. Well, can you find Mac first? He was out 
doing stuff and he needs to go to bed before he runs out of time yeah <laughs> all right see yeah, you i'll see what i can do all right see you in the morning night